What's up, YouTube? Justin here, along with Wiretex, aka Soldier Knows Best Junior. And today, I just wanted to show you how to make a GIF animation picture. It's one thing I've always wanted to know how to do, but not know how to. And it's really simple. Let me show you a nice animation here. Um, usually, you have to follow these crazy tutorials with Photoshop to create these, using backgrounds, layers this layer, that layer, and compiling all these layers to go, and it's not that easy. Or it might be, but it, there's a real easy, there's an easier way to do this now. Here's the outcome of what a GIF image usually looks like. It does something cool, um, and it's an image. It's amazing. Um, the software that I'm going to be using today is only from Mac. It's called GIF Quick Maker, um, and it's amazing it's magical so you go to this link or you go in the Mac App Store download GIF Quick Maker goes to your dock you click on it open it and you're presented with three screens or three sections you have your animation screen here to play the video you have your images screen and then you have your frame screen the images allows you to add in on your images for that project at a particular time once you add images into the screen, you can't delete them, but it's only for this project. It's not going to be in your final video if you don't want to use those images. You can always delete and change your frame. Um, the frame is going to be the output of your animation. And then here you can make GIF animation. It goes over to this big old section where you can watch and eventually save. So in Finder here, I have a... Nah, and then all these images of me on my iPhone. So I'm going to drag them onto the image section. Notice it do doesn't have that plus symbol. It's just not going to pop up. Let go anyway, and it adds all my images in. And you can see the video here. Um, so I can actually skip some of these. I can either use this to add all of them or I can add selected ones. I'm just going to add all of them. I haven't found a way to delete videos out of this image pad, but I can always delete them out the frame. Um, so I can change the speed here, make it to whatever I want for that selected image, um, and I can all, use all these settings. But just to make a basic GIF image, I click make GIF animation, and it sends it over here. I can click play and it plays the image. Gotta tell me that's super slow, right? Um, I'll see if I can move this back down and then remake the image and it goes super fast again. So that's how these people make these images. I mean, I can stop it, click save, and then I can say save on the desktop or no, I'll say save in pictures. Yeah. Then I can go to Finder and go into pictures. And I have this GIF animation that if I was to open up with Safari. it will play and then in animation so I can upload that online pretty cool huh so that's basically a quick tutorial on how to create a GIF animation what in the world does GIF stand for? It not that a great question hmm GIF let's google that graphics interchange format so it's a bitmap image format that was introduced in 87 and um it says it for itself. Graphics interchange format. That's what it was made for. To, to spin around like this. <laughs> so, you, you gotta love it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment or PM me or email me. I have all that good information in the description below. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash wired text. And um, like, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Peace.